In Hogwarts Legacy, when you are placed under the sorting hat, you get to pick which house you want to join. A bit different to how it works in Harry Potter, where it is randomized, but in Hogwarts Legacy, you get to pick the house that you want to join. Now, of course, there are four different houses you get to pick between, those being Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on Hufflepuff. This video will be a complete guide to Hufflepuff and how it will work within Hogwarts Legacy. This isn't just going to be Hogwarts Legacy specific information either. This is going to be general information about how the house has worked within the Hogwarts world, a bit of history behind the house and the general leads of the house, and yeah, some general information about the house along with how it will work within Hogwarts Legacy. It's also possible that by watching this video, you'll be then tempted to go ahead and join Hufflepuff when you do play Hogwarts Legacy, or in another circumstance, it may steer you away from Hufflepuff and want to join a different house. So, this video will be a complete guide to the Hufflepuff house within Hogwarts Legacy. Let's get into it. Hufflepuff was one of the four houses of Hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry. Its founder was the medieval witch Helga Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff was the most inclusive among the four houses, valuing hard work, dedication, patience, loyalty and fair play rather than a particular aptitude in its members. The emblematic animal was a badger, and yellow and black were its house colours. The head of Hufflepuff was Pomona Sprout, and the fat friar was the house's patron ghost. Hufflepuff corresponded roughly to the elements of earth, and it was for that reason that the house colours were chosen. Yellow represented wheat, while black was emblematic of soil. The Hufflepuff point hourglass contained yellow diamonds. Students sorted into Hufflepuff often demonstrated strong abilities in herbology, owning to their correspondence to earth. So, students belonging to this house were known to be hardworking, friendly, loyal, honest, rather than impartial. It might be that due to their values, Hufflepuffs were not as competitive as the other houses, and were more modest about their accomplishments. Hufflepuff was the most inclusive among the four houses, valuing hard work, dedication, patience, loyalty, and fair play, rather than a particular aptitude in its students, as we mentioned earlier. Hufflepuffs were known to have a strong moral code, and a sense of right and wrong. Hufflepuffs were usually accepting of everyone. Overall, students of Hufflepuff thrived in equality. Hufflepuff appeared to have the least rivalry with the other houses, except in Quidditch. Although the tournament did temporarily put a great deal of strain on the relationship between Gryffindor and Hufflepuff, due to unusual circumstances of the selection of both Gryffindor student Harry Potter and Hufflepuff student Cedric Diggory as champions, this was mended by 1998, where a majority of Hufflepuffs rose to defend Harry from Pansy Parkinson and later helped to defend Hogwarts. According to Minerva McGonagall, all four of the houses precede exceptional witches and wizards in their time, but due to Helga Hufflepuff's policy of accepting any student, Hufflepuff is often thought to be the house of less talented wizards and witches. However, this was merely a misunderstanding of the Sorting Hat poem. The Hufflepuff house had produced a great number of wizards and witches who would go on to be extremely successful and have great influence upon the history and course of the wizarding world. What made Hufflepuff truly differ from the other houses was the fact that they didn't tend to boast about these accomplishments. It was not considered to be part of their nature. Hufflepuff was the house that produced the fewest dark wizards throughout its history. Their cheerful and friendly personality could probably account for this achievement of the house. Hufflepuff firmly demonstrated its loyalty during the Battle of Hogwarts in 1998, when they were second only to Harry Potter's own House of Gryffindor in the number of students willing to stay and fight against Voldemort and his forces in the defence of their school. Hufflepuff's nature and reputation was perhaps the best exemplified by its mascot, the Badger. Though a quiet and largely unassuming creature that most perceive to be harmless, the Badger can be surprisingly vicious if provoked and capable of fighting off animals many times its size, especially if there is a threat to what it cares about. Their capacity to be far more dangerous and cunning than their reputation would suggest was also shown by the fact that of the four house common rooms, theirs was actually the only one that possessed an active defence mechanism against those who would try to seek unauthorised entry. So, there you go. Now, that information wasn't necessarily Hogwarts Legacy specific information, but it was general Hogwarts information about the Hogwarts world and where Hufflepuff has belonged and, you know, general history behind Hufflepuff and how the house has worked over the years. So, yeah, now 
now we're going to be steering away from specific Hogwarts information, but more specific Hogwarts legacy information about the game and how Hufflepuff will work as a house within the game. Within their free time, Hufflepuff members can be seen hanging out in their common room, located in the Hufflepuff basement near the castle's kitchen. To enter in, Hufflepuffs must tap a specific barrel to the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. This room is generally considered one of the coziest common rooms in the castle, and is filled with a wide array of colourful plants and flowers. There are also dancing cacti all over the common room. That's a pretty cool detail there, which you can actually check out when you are in the game. Now, there are thousands of students at Hogwarts, and one of the easiest ways of knowing the house they belong to is by checking what colours they are sporting, as each house has a different set of colours. If you join Hufflepuff, you can use yellow and black garments, such as robes and scarves, as part of your Hufflepuff uniform. So if you are in Hogwarts and you're interested in seeing what house a student belongs to, all you have to do is check at the uniform they're wearing and the colours that that uniform is displaying, and if it is yellow and black, then they will be part of Hufflepuff. Now, it has been confirmed that some students will serve as players' companions. It is unclear if you will only have access to the companion that goes to the same house as you do, but if that were the case, then joining Hufflepuff will secure you Poppy Sweeting as a companion. Now, of course, at the moment, that hasn't been confirmed. However, we have seen that some people are part of certain houses, and Poppy Sweeting is part of Hufflepuff, so it is possible that that will be a specific companion related to Hufflepuff House, as we have seen some other companions that seem to be steered more towards other houses. However, this hasn't been confirmed at all, so this might not be the case. It might be that no matter what house you are part of, you're able to access all of the companions, but we just don't know yet. However, if you really, really, really want to be able to have Poppy Sweeting as a companion, then definitely go with Hufflepuff just in case, since it may be that you do need to be part of the house in order to have Poppy Sweeting as your companion. Of course, it does seem like companions are going to play a pretty big part in Hogwarts Legacy and it's definitely been a feature that the developers have advertised quite a bit. It's a pretty cool feature that we don't always see so yeah, companions look like they're going to be playing a pretty big role within Hogwarts Legacy so yeah, if you really want to be able to have Poppy Sweeting as your companion, then Hufflepuff is definitely the house for you, just so you can make sure that they will be your companion. For the time being, it is unclear if there are more exclusive perks for joining the Hufflepuff house it is likely that there will be a couple more but we just don't know yet. It might be that there aren't really any exclusive features for the house, more or just the common room and everything like that and yeah the common room is actually pretty cool to be fair I do really really like the Hufflepuff common room I think the overall colors and everything like that for the common room look really nice and yeah I think the decorations everything like that look really cool in Hufflepuff and it's definitely a house I'm going to consider joining myself so that was a complete guide to the Hufflepuff house within Hogwarts Legacy we went over some general info about the house which isn't necessarily Hogwarts specific but some general info about the Hufflepuff house within the Hogwarts world and then we went over some Hogwarts Legacy specific info about Hufflepuff and how it will work within the game. Now I have actually done a video which goes over each of the four houses and the house that you should join within Hogwarts Legacy. If you are interested in watching that the link to that video is on the screen now so go ahead and join me over there.